My name is Aaron Gonthier Jr. I make videos on live streaming, moderating, and full size trains. Also, in my life at college and at home. <laughs> this is home life. <laughs> this is life log. Hey guys, head off to a meeting over uh, in Bronson and we take care of a few things. And of course, I'll probably let you know what those uh, things are at some point. Uh, I'm just gonna get taken care of. Let's get this just started. Hello, uh, guys. Uh, I didn't get much filming done this week, I'll admit it. Um, I got very little done. Um, been trying to get a lot of work done this week. Um, didn't get a lot of filming done, but I got, I'm got. i trying to get a lot of work done. Uh, a few other things you know, here and there I'm trying to take care of. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going quite a lot this week, and it's just been one of those busy, busy weeks. Uh, very, very busy, very, very hectic. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Take care of stuff, um... I initially thought I was going to be taking care of some more stuff today, probably I was vlogging, but no, I'm you know, working on a lot of stuff here in the office, um, taking care of several different projects and uh, side things that we'll, uh, I'll talk about at some point at a later date. Um, yeah. Thanks for those. Oh my god, I was starting to be annoyed. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, mm, must be, uh, the guy across the hall, um, must be using the water or something, probably, but those are live pipes, and they shouldn't be that loud, um, you see, I don't know why they would be that odd, um, but yeah, the, uh, but yeah, uh, so I'm being taken care of. Um, but yeah, so yeah, things have been going wonderful, and yeah, things have been going nice. And I got meetings done for this week, got more meetings next week. So I'll be at next week, whole another round of meetings and uh yeah you know it's always nice and to understand things and such and you know it's always nice to do things um you know and uh take care of stuff um which is exactly what i was doing and I got a feeling this vlog part is not flowing normal. It's probably not really all that long, but you know what? <sighs> and I know it's not the most probably the most professional, you know, video wise when you compare it to thinking shows like Keeping Up with the Kardashians, which in all honesty, half that crap's probably staged, half those fights are probably staged fights. Or um th if they're not staged fights, they're highly choreographed and the motives behind the fights are purely if you look at it it's a producer behind the scenes and one of the things with uh youtubers like myself um you know you got people like me uh, daily moments and all that we actually work for ourselves we literally there is no camera crew the way you see me on camera is the way I pretty much look in real life. Uh, I don't wear makeup, uh, so there's no movie makeup whatsoever. There's no, you know, camera person. There, there is no producer. I don't have an editor. It's just my office and edits my videos. I edit them myself. Um, I'll see, you know, maybe occasionally. You know, I don't know, you know, 
sometimes, yeah, it may not be me, but those, I think, are very, very, uh, I haven't had anyone else edit my vlog. I mean, it's edited a certain way, which flows nice, and it just works for me. Um, but, you know, it, that's the way it is. I know there are some YouTubers who actually pretty much also own a production company, and they already have an editor on staff, and they just pay them extra for editing the uh, vlogs, which is fine. You know, if you can do that, that's fine. But, you know, there are a lot of things we do, you know, this is probably the closest you're ever going to get to reality, especially for YouTube. Um, and where I'm getting at this is on some channels, and I know my uh, farming channel, um, Aaron Gone Through Junior, which is my other channel, uh, initially it was the, uh, sometimes you might hear me refer to it as the old main, the old main channel, because uh, that's where everything initially was going to be on, you know, I was going to start with that channel, and then I'll, I want to say my junior year in high school, just before I started uh, doing uh, some YouTube stuff, so I started doing YouTube my senior year, it was some year in there, because uh, so my projects required me to upload a video. So, that was the year uh, they switched everything over, uh, I then switched all my model railroading stuff over to this channel, if you look at all the people I subscribe to, I subscribe to a lot of model railroaders, uh, which is kind of the main thing for this channel. This is mainly like my rail, it's kind of one of those channels like when I initially kind of was coming up with the idea for the channel, it was more railroad related. It was more, you know, railroads, so, you know, my rail fan trips, um, which also may get featured on Block 5 video, on, uh, as part of Block 5 videos videos, um, I don't know. Um, so I might have some experts from some uh, snippets from that videos. Um, uh, it wasn't mainly to be vlogging. I didn't come up with the idea to vlog till I think May of my senior year, or actually it might have been like, no, maybe it was about New Year's or shortly after New Year's. I think it was like my um. But it was mainly just to vlog my college. Uh, life vlog wasn't really an idea, um, but life vlog came into existence, which is what this series is called, the life vlog. Life vlog didn't come into effect till, shoot, December of this past year, and that's why it's such a low number. Um, and, and to be bluntly honest, I didn't have the ability really, well, I had the ability to vlog, but I didn't have like, it was would have been trickier to vlog life um, with the old setup, uh, with the uh, tablet and my uh, thing. So I just didn't vlog. Um, so that's probably why if you look at it, sure, I've vlogged for about three years. I'm gonna be getting ready to go to my fourth, which is quite a long time. Uh, three years, I'm a three year ex, uh, three years, three year veteran. And, isn't too, too bad. Vlogging, you know, it is kind of a trick, you know, vlogging stuff that pretty much people are notorious for. That's why I come up with, you know, the Roman numeral numbering system that I use. So worst case, if you look by that number, so if you remember what number I'm on every week, or if you remember, or if you remember a certain vlog number, you can type that vlog number in, and, you know, it's Roman numeral equivalent, and you can find it. And I know at times I've mentioned, you know, the more X's you see on the video, so like, 30, is I think it's triple X, I think, I'm not too sure. If not, the number will be uh, on the screen. Um... But that doesn't, like I've said, I think I've said this in the past, that does not mean it's getting hotter. It's pretty much neutral when it comes to the heat, if anything, which is the way I am. And that's the thing, though. The the show is very, very, both shows, uh, College Vlog and Life Vlog, in fact, many of my shows, including the wood burning videos, they're very clean. 
On the farming channel, that's going to be a little different. Uh, a little more slang is going to be used. Uh, a mix of breeding slang, so there'll be a lot of breeding slang, and some farming slang in there. So, they'll probably be a little different of a setup here. Um, on this channel, for railroad videos, there will be some slang used. Um, but always the definition will be shown on the screen. So, you know, in case you're you know, you're watching and you don't have speakers, or you have speakers instead of headphones, and your kids are watching with you, you can explain it to them and use a definition that makes sense. Um, and in case you don't understand, so you're not doing that, I don't, let's look that up. So it takes time out of your day, you can just explain it, you know, with a simple pause. I've kind of almost given you the tool. And if you want to look it up further and kind of look into what else it might mean, um, in case I'm being like a little selective on my definition, uh, which is fine. You know, there are some pretty modern day um, definitions out there which I will not even glance at. Which, okay, in that case, for, for our turn, I shouldn't use it. But, you know. Okay, you know. I'll make a mental note of that, you know. Especially if you call me out in the section for it, but. I try not to do rant videos and such, but. Yeah. Um. And, especially on that. You know, on this channel, you know, a lot of things we will not show, you know. You. Like, I'm pretty sure at some point, you know, uh, with what's coming up in this, over the next four months, you know, who knows? You may actually see some things change. Um, pretty sure very few of you know that I actually have a knife collection. Uh, I actually do. But then again, most of the, my viewers are family, so you guys already know I've got a knife collection. For those who are not family or watching, yes, I have a knife collection. I don't have it here. Back in Windsor, and it's not that bad of a knife collection. Um, mainly pocket knives. I think I have one good three incher. I gotta have fixed at some point. I gotta find a place to go to get that fixed. I don't know any places where you can go to get that dealt with. That's probably like a hunting store type deal. But yeah. Um. So. Yep, so, but, you know, it's, the way things are, you know, like I guess I'll need my other channel, I will do a lot more, and if anyone's wondering what that channel's, what I'm going to be doing with the old main, that's going to become my farming channel, so if I film anything, like, um, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be heading back home, if I, like, mow the field, I'll probably feature that as a farming video. I might feature like a few snip clips to tie it into this video, uh, or into not this particular video, but the, the series. So I'll tie it into that video. Uh, my, my mom has some chickens back home. If I feature them, or if they're, if I do a little video with them, like if I feed them and all that for her, which I'm pretty sure she'd greatly love if I'm home and I feed her chickens, I'll probably feature that and anything to do farming related, you know, picking up feed and such, you know, that kind of thing. If I do uh, things like I'm actually pondering doing ducks up here, um, that is something you'll see on that channel. You'll see duck videos and, you know, you'll see a lot of that. Uh, and the way I do things is very old fashioned uh, with a lot of things, you know, just the way I'm raised uh, is one, you know, it's very old fashioned. So, you know, I, you know, if I'm looking over my ducks, let's, let's just say I do ducks for instance, and I'm looking over my flock and I see that a duck's got its guts hanging out the back, bottom, back end of it. Why call the vet for that? Grab your max. Yeah. You know. Too many males? Well, let's see. What are the best genes? Pick up by the gene? Pick up by that? You know, okay, what's the best markings I want for the next year? Ones I don't want? You know, keep the ones I want. Get rid of the ones I don't want. Head for your camp, which is the way I am. Most people would be, you know, take those to the slaughterhouse and you know, have them humanely slaughtered, you know, my bother. But in any case, on a much happier note, rather than a sad note, um, who wants to end a vlog on a sad note? 
Um, but yeah. So, and of course, this weekend is Memorial Weekend, so hope you guys have very much fun on Memorial Weekend. And uh, for any of you um, uh, veterans out there, especially Vietnam vets, uh, welcome home to you guys. Um, you know, I think veterans has their own day, and I think that's sometime this fall. But I believe Memorial Day, at least as far as I knew when I was in Scouts, Yes, I was a scout. I think that's one of the reasons why I have a knife collection. <laughs> uh, you know, it's one of those days where we honor um, our veterans. It's one of those nice little days they get. They get it's all different uh, holidays. Uh -huh. But, you know, welcome home. And uh, it's a bummer you guys couldn't get a decent welcome home with, you know, parades and such. But, you know what? With what they've gone through and I've went through it, I feel for you. So, welcome home, soldiers. Thank you for your service. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Always remember to spread the love around, especially to them veterans. If you meet a Vietnam vet, tell them, wa tell them th uh, welcome home. You know, they need it. I'm pretty sure that'll just put a smile on their face. <laughs> Spit all around, even the, the the veterans, the homeless. You know, <laughs> a down a cork that's kind of down the dump. Spread the love around. We shouldn't be f do that stupid bird anyway. So spread the love around. Stay off the road tracks. They're for the railroads. They're for the trains. They're for the locomotives. They're for the rail cars. I'll see you guys next time. Here on the vlog. <laughs> See ya.